Lung abscess is a superative infection of the lung parenchyma which results in tissue necrosis and cavitation. The cavity has a wall which is single and usually measures about 2 cm or greater in diameter and usually communicates with the bronchus. The cavity is obviously filled with purulent material. You might see a little lung consolidation with a lot of cavities of lesser diameter and is designated as necrotizing pneumonia. Lung abscess may be acute or chronic, single or multiple. Lung abscesses are most frequently caused by bacteria which are anaerobic. The routes of infection include inhalation, aspiration, hematogenous, transdiaphragmatic or transthoracic route. Lung abscess can also occur due to secondary infection of a pre-existent cavity cyst or bulla. A lung neoplasm may cavitate and mimic lung abscess. Aspiration of the oropharyngeal secretions and subsequent Abscess formation can occur in patient with altered consciousness, anesthesia, alcohol, intoxication, sedative drugs, head injury, cerebrovascular accidents, esophageal strictures, and during seizures. Poor oral hygiene and dental caries is a risk factor for the development of abscess in the lung. Abscess following aspiration usually has a polymicrobial flora containing gram-negative bacilli and anaerobes. I repeat, it has a polymicrobial flora containing gram-negative bacilli and anaerobes. The common anaerobes are Bacteroids fragilis, Fusobacterium species and anaerobic cocci including peptococcus species and microaerophilic streptococci. Common aerobic organisms include streptococcus milleri, streptococcus biogenes, and staphylococcus aureus. Common gram-negative organisms are Klebsiella pneumonia and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Bronchial obstruction due to tumor of foreign body and bronchiectasis may predispose to secondary infection and abscess formation. Immunodeficient state is also a predisposing factor. Other causes of abscess include parasites like Paragonemus, Westermanni, and Entamoeba histolytica, fungus which are Aspergillus, Cryptococcus, Neoformans, Histoplasma capsulitum, and Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Pathology by definition, a lung abscess is more than 2 cm in diameter and has a wall of variable thickness. The abscess cavity is usually filled with purulent secretions. Posterior segments of the right upper lobe and apical segments of the lower lobe of both lungs are affected calmly after aspiration. Abscesses due to other mechanisms may involve any segment. An abscess usually communicates with the bronchus. Patient usually present with high grade fever with chills and rigors. Cough with purulent sputum, dyspnea, chest pain are usually present. Hemoptysis may also be present. Physical examination may show clubbing. There may be amorphic or cavernous bronchial breath sounds over the cavity. Crepitations and pleural rub may be heard. Investigation, blood clot shows polymorpholeucocytosis, x-ray of chest shows abscess cavity with fluid level, CT scan may be required to differentiate lung abscesses from lo loculated empyema. Smear and culture of sputum or bronchial aspirate can identify the cause of, can identify the causative organism. Bronchoscopy is indicated if the foreign body or tumor is suspected. Complications 
bronchopleural fistula and empyema formation, pericarditis, massive hemoptysis, metastatic infections, secondary amyloidosis, which may develop in chronic lung abscess. Treatment includes clindamycin or amoxicillin clavi clavulinate which can be used as a national therapy pending organism identification can be seen. Penicillin plus metronozole is another option especially if aspiration is suspected. Lung abscess which develops in hospital are usually caused by Klebsiella pneumonia. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is Staphylococcus aureus and aerolobes and require treatment with a combination of third generation cephalosporin, aminoglycoside and metronidazole. Antimyotic therapy should be continued until radiographic resolution of the abscess cavity is demonstrated. Usually to 6 to 8 weeks of therapy is required. Physiotherapy in the form of postural drainage can help clear the secretions. Chronic abscesses not response, responding to medical therapy require surgical resection. This was a brief story on the etiology, clinical features and management of lung abscesses. So listen to it again. Just stop the recording and press restart.